The Dionavi system is not only about a surgical guide, it's not only about having a surgical stent that allows you to put uh, your implants in the correct 3D position. It is also about the prefabricated prosthetic components. You, can, you have uh, the possibility of having with the correct uh, reverse planning in, 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 um, uh, in the correct treatment plan to have the immediate customized abutments even before starting surgery and on top of those immediate customized abutments you will have immediate customized provisionals that fit perfectly on those abutments and you can have them already done and prepared even before starting the surgery even before starting the anesthesia this is quite critical but having uh, the connection of a prefabricated customized abutment is only possible when the deviation degree is less than three degrees when it is higher than this you will never have the proper fit of this prefabricated customized abutments after the implant placement with the with the surgical guide so let's see some examples of it this is a clinical case of a central incisor tooth 11 it is fractured the root is fractured, so we are going to have an immediate implant in the aesthetic area of a young lady, very demanding aesthetically. So we carefully go for the removal of the teeth. We remove the teeth very carefully, taking care of the soft tissues. We probe the buccal wall. We see that the buccal wall is intact. We check the fitting of our surgical guide, it fits perfectly on the, the tooth. We can see on the windows of the surgical guide how the, the, the guide is perfectly um, immobilized on the correct position. You have to do a very slow speed drilling as you cannot overheat the bone. So using only 50 RPM and not more than 10 seconds of a time, you will never have overrating of the bone. Uh, at the, uh, the implant insertion is very important that you match this driver mark with the, with the mark on the sleeve so you are providing the correct X orientation so that your abutment at the end is going to be connected correctly. So achieving the correct 3D positioning after the surgery it was really easy without any kind of effort without stress involved so I can focus my stress now on the uh, on the mucogingival procedures that are needed as we know that this um, this contour is going to be restored if we don't do anything so we are creating a tunnel we are creating a pocket so that we can augment with soft tissue and then we are going to avoid the horizontal resortion that we know already occurs after tooth extraction it's very important to get a passive uh, mobility of the of the pocket and then we go to the um, pellets here we are harvesting connective tissue for two situations we are also covering recessions on the uh, upper right side so we are harvesting soft tissue for both situations at the same time <clears throat> so we harvest the free gingival graft that we are going to depitalize outside the mouth and after depitalizing we can just divide what we need for the central incisor this is the correct shape that we need to augment on the correct positioning we don't need um, big grafts, we don't need thick grafts for this case, it's, it's only to preserve the contour and through horizontal mattress sutures we can use two sutures to stabilize it and drive the grafts through into the um, prepared tunnel and of course <clears throat> after that we are going to fill the gap between the implant and the buccal wall with xenograft 
again it's not to have a uh, better bone if we are we are not having better vital bone but it will help us preserve the volume intact and with the customized abutment and the provisional that is provided already by the Unavi team it's very easy to uh, sit the provisional on top of the abutment at the end I like to then convert it to screw retain so I can have it reversible and this is after the surgery and then after the all the process of healing we prepare the adjacent teeth for veneers and this is the whole uh, aesthetic treatment with the implant crown and zirconia and ceramic veneers and the adjacent teeth this is a work by Pedro Brito which is a uh, very talented Portuguese ceramist and this is also possible in full large cases in multiple cases in multiple cases uh, it's important that uh, for example in a case like this with a large extent of uh, mucosal support uh, has the, the the ridge is really wide I'm not worried with the position at the bone but I'm worried with the, the, the position between the implants so I can have the proper splitting at hand with my customized provisionals. So I start from with one implant and with this implant I'm going to leave the driver on it and so the driver is now my anchor point on the right upper side. So keeping the driver in place is going to uh, provide proper stabilization for my surgical guide and now I can uh, focus on all the, the implant sites again not more than 50 rpm and not more than 10 seconds at a time with a lot of irrigation with saline between the um, between the the drills so we can have um the proper cooling of the bone So now we are, after the correct hex orientation, we are sitting the customized provisionals in place. We have to check our provisionals each time we connect a customized abutment, one by one. And now we are filling all the sockets, all the gaps, we have gaps from the um, from huge infections we had in these sockets and we are feeling all these bone deficiencies created by the infections with xenograft this, these are actually blocks of xenograft with collagen and we can feel everything very tightly so we can avoid any soft tissue invagination that will lead to a loss of contour on this region. You can see how after the surgery it's really easy to sit the immediate temporary bridge on top of this immediate customized abutments very easily, very fast and you have a very quick immediate loading in just a question of minutes. What will take hours to achieve on the immediate loading is quite automatic with this um, already automatic reverse planning with the prosthesis already prefabricated before the surgery. So we could not have time because of uh, patient tiredness to do the soft tissue uh, augmentations on this case. We did it after in another uh, surgical step. We did the soft tissue augmentation and then we finalized the definitive bridge in zirconia for this case the first case i planned three implant in light left upper area the remaining bone height is seven five or a three maybe so first this uh, surgery site 
was scanned by internal scanner. Before scanning it, a marker was attached to edentulous area. This mark helps the exact merging between intraoral scan data and COMMCT data. So after attached this marker and then uh, scanning with a tree of three. After scanning and then took a COMMIP CT. So with these two data, I plan on implant studio and three shape program. So three implant design and uh, use for, uh, tissue crunch first, and then bone plating drill the next, and uh, general drilling with the stopper under one millimeter cortical bone. So surgery was done by the protocol and to grind out the one millimeter cortical bone, the sinus drill was used. And then I apply with hydraulic pressure. But if you feel some resistance, that means there are no open the cortical bone. In this case, uh, you can choose one millimeter longer one. So try again and push. And when you spray it, you can see a continuous blood stream. And also blood test, you can see uh, there are no perforations. And for lip for grafting, the widening of entrance of sinus with uh, another sinus view. Then this blood bone merge into cell line, then pack into the sinus with bone condenser and stopper. After use of our final drill, then uh, abutment profile drill is the uh, option. Then uh, with handpiece uh, place fixture. But in sinus case, uh, we don't need to align the hex or offset. So I place implant with only used hand piece. Then uh, connect healing abutment to a fixture. So on COMIP CT view, you can see enough lifting and there are no perforations there then uh, on panoramic view the enough bone graft in place of implant then uh, six months later uh, I like to make a final process with this term as thought. What advantage of when you use this guide system or a guide? Most implant place better to each other. So without guide, it's hard to uh, place. So six months later, I connect stock abutment and then uh, with the intraoral scanner, I just scan it on stock abutment. This stock abutment, uh, the technician met in on program. So after scanning it and send method on program, the technicians they can see the exactly margin of this stock abutment even in sub-margin area then he designed final 
pulsatis and make of them with zirconia then deliver to clinic. In the clinic, just set the trial without model. So it's much simple and convenient more convenient method that is given without model. <laughs>